So you've heard about Pioneer's App Radio, the first product to truly integrate Apple's iPhone 4 into the Dash Year vehicle. This is a radically new concept of really running everything off of the iPhone 4 but controlling it with the app radio which resides in your Dash. This has never been done before, but it's a very unique way of giving you the best iPhone experience in your car. So what do you need to get started? Well obviously you need Pioneer's app radio um, and it is designed to exclusively work with Apple's iPhone 4 as well as the iPod Touch fourth generation. But obviously the real experience is that network connection of having that iPhone 4. So let's start there. You'll also need Pioneer's app radio app, um, which is a free download from Apple's iTunes app store. And that gives you access to many functions that are embedded in the iPhone like Google Maps, contacts, calendar, and photos. The real power of Pioneer's App Radio is its compatibility with apps. Not only the apps that exist today, but just like on your iPhone, as more apps become available to add features, functions, whatever it may be, those potentially will be compatible with Pioneer's App Radio as well. So let's take a look at a few of the features of the Pioneer App Radio before you even plug in your iPhone. So I'm going to go ahead and start up the unit. So this would be the same as turning on the ignition in your car. And we start at the home screen. This is where you see the clock, um, today's day, as well as the radio. If we had our um, device plugged in, you'd also have the iPod, the apps, and the phone functions highlighted. So we'll go ahead and start the radio. And you can see we start off on FM1. There's actually five different bands that you can set six presets. FM1, FM2, FM3, as well as AM1 and AM2. The functions are actually pretty cool in that this first balloon is actually your text balloon. So if you're receiving RDS information with your radio station, um, you'll actually get a little bit of text or information. You can see this current station doesn't have any text displayed. Um, the second one, which kind of looks like a little antenna, is actually how we switch between those bands that I mentioned before, FM1, FM2, FM3, AM1, AM2. So if I hit this button here, you can see our screen goes away and now we're on our second band of tuner presets. The star is actually our preset button. So if I have a, a station that I want to set, um, you can see 93.9 .9 is our currently selected station. If I want to make that preset number 5, for example, I just press number 5, and now in our list you can see 93.9 .9 is our fifth preset. The little kind of circular arrow is our best station's memory. So if I hit this button, the tuner is actually going to seek out the six strongest stations and automatically set those in our six presets. You can see a little bit of RDS there, our, our call signs for 88.1 come up. Um, really cool on the app radio is this direct keypad, so you can actually enter in a frequency. This is the first time we've offered this kind of functionality. So if you want to listen to 102.7, you simply type in the numbers, press enter, uh, and we tune to that station. And then the last is actually the settings. Uh, it looks like tools. Um, and here we can do different options and this will apply to the tuner screen as well as other audio sources. So let's go back to the home screen. We'll take a look at some of the other settings that we can do. Um, again, we've got our clock displayed, our date displayed, our different options. Up here in the corner in the upper left um, is our settings menu. Here you can change the background, um, both stored images as well as the factory default, which is a black or a gray color. We've got our audio settings, which allow you to adjust the equalizer settings, um, both a low, mid, and high bands. Um, some factory EQ settings, super bass, powerful, natural, vocal, flat, as well as uh, presets for custom one or custom two, so any changes you make to this. Um, as well as the fader and balance controls, so you can actually move the sound more towards the front of the car, to the rear of the car, or to the left or the right of the vehicle. Also the subwoofer setting is, is found in this menu. Back to the settings, you also have the steering wheel control. Um, an option is to add steering wheel interfaces. And these are third party adapters that work with a variety of different vehicles um, and really change that vehicle specific steering wheel control language into the type of language that can be understood by Pioneer's app radio. Um, what's really cool is um, the app radio has the ability to kind of map the different buttons um, all dynamically from the screen. Uh, most of those third-party adapters will, will have certain settings, um, but this 
Pioneer App Radio allows you to, to basically change those things on the fly. So even though the, the factory setting may be for uh, an up and down button to be track up, track down, uh, the App Radio gives you the ability to change that into an answer button for your Bluetooth connected phone uh, or some other function that you use most often. The last setting is the general screen and this is where you can do things like uh, change some of the settings on the picture as well as the rear camera. You can go into settings for the radio region, the local uh, on off for the tuner, um, GPS signal, um, as well as a general system reset. You also have settings for the date, the clock mode being 12 hour or 24 hour. Um, the actual time, so even though it pulls the time from the GPS signal, um, in some areas where the, the clock may be a little bit off or you're in a region that has multiple time zones, maybe parts of Arizona or parts of Indiana, um, you can actually go in and manually adjust the time that's automatically received from the GPS signal. And then toggle summertime on or off for regions that do or do not observe um, daylight savings time. The next setting is the actual RCA pre-out. Um, this unit does feature a single RCA pre-out, but that pre-out is a little bit flexible in that it can be either full range um, or used as a subwoofer pre-out. Uh, you can even go into the subwoofer setting and change what crossover point you want that subwoofer to be cut off at. Either 80, 120, um, or 160 hertz. Our next tab here is actually the language. Um, so there's a variety of different languages that you can do and, and even lay out the keyboard uh, in different ways. And our last setting tab is actually really cool. This is our source level setting. So because you sometimes will have different uh, volume levels coming from your radio, from your iPhone, or when you're talking over Bluetooth, you can actually adjust the volume level um, of those sources independently. So when you switch between, for instance, radio and the iPhone, you don't have the volume either too low or too loud. So let's go back to the home screen and we'll show you how to pair your Bluetooth phone. So to start the pairing process with your Bluetooth enabled phone, you actually would um, click on the phone icon and that's going to show if there's any devices that are already paired with the, the Pioneer app radio. Um, from there you would go back to your phone, open the settings and then click on the general tab click on Bluetooth, ensure that that is on, uh, and the iPhone 4 will begin searching for compatible devices. Um, you click on the app radio, that's the default setting um, from the Pioneer app radio, that's the description. Click on that and the iPhone 4 will actually begin the pairing process. Put in your pin, which by default is four zeros, and what you'll see is the iPhone will confirm and connect to the app radio and then the pairing process is complete. So now that your phone has completed the pairing process, you now can click the phone icon and your phone will automatically be displayed as connected, um, so in this case Pioneer MBGA, and you can see we've got a list of the available features. Um, you can go to your missed calls, your received calls, your dialed called records, um, as well as your phone book. Now you'll see that when you first go to phone book, it's actually empty. Um, the contact lists um, are one of the available apps in the app radio and the iPhone. So initially, all of your contacts would be accessed through the contacts app. However, you can sync your iPhone phone book if you'd like to. Um, by doing so, you would click again on the settings menu and go to phone book sync. Click on that button um, and press OK. If you don't want to sync all of the contacts and store them into the app radio, you would simply hit cancel. You also have the ability, of course, to direct dial. In the lower left hand corner, you'll see this icon. This is an icon that allows you to manually disconnect um, or reconnect your phone. So you can see we've actually disconnected our hands-free device. Um, this is handy if maybe you and your spouse or your friends, um, you each have phones and you've all enabled the, the Bluetooth to work with the app radio. Um, so you can manually check if you have multiple phones. You could click on one, um, so we'll click on Pioneer MBGA again, uh, and it will automatically reconnect. So now we're going to connect our Apple iPhone 4 and see where the real power of Pioneer's app radio comes from. 
So we've just connected our iPhone and you can see that the iPod icon and the apps icon automatically become highlighted. If we click on our iPod, we'll actually open um, the home screen of the actual iPod controls. Here you can choose all the same functions that you are familiar with on your iPod. Um, you have your artists, your albums, songs, podcasts, genres, composers, the now playing information, etc. You can do the same type of menus and functions, again, that you're familiar with with your iPod interface. So now if we click on our apps icon, it's going to open the next screen, which is going to talk about the parking brake. This is actually another key of the Pioneer app radio. Um, the ability for us, through our parking brake interface, to communicate with the partner apps whether or not the vehicle is actually being driven or it's stopped. So just as the description on the screen, um, in order to view any video source or anything else um, that would be deemed unsafe while you're driving, um, you would need to apply the parking brake, uh, release the parking brake, and apply the parking brake again. This confirms that the vehicle is in fact not in motion. Once you've done that, you can press OK. And now, the next step is that the Pioneer App Radio is going to ask you to launch the Pioneer App Radio app from your iPhone. So go back to your iPhone, click on the App Radio app, and you'll see our initial launch animation. It'll say hello to you and your phone. And now we'll be on the app's main home screen. So here on your main first page, you're going to see recommended apps, maps, contacts, calendars, and photos. We'll talk a little bit later about the recommended apps icon, so we'll kind of skip over that uh, and go directly to the first four, again, maps, contacts, calendars, and photos. Um, these are apps that are actually embedded in the iPhone, so these aren't third-party or partner apps. Um, these are some that come directly um, with the iPhone and, and don't require any additional downloading or anything. Um, so I've now opened maps, and you can see it's the familiar Google Maps, and you have the same type of controls that you do with your iPhone. Um, you can click on this button to reposition yourself and it will show your current positioning or your, your location on the map. Um, you can zoom in and zoom out using these keys here. So you can see our current location is here on Wilmington Avenue and Dominguez in the city of Long Beach. Um, you can search just as you would uh, on your uh, iPhone by simply touching the search bar and typing in certain uh, things that you're looking for. Let's say we're looking for pizza as an example. You can literally type in pizza and click return uh, and it'll start the search. You can also go into directions. So again, you see the same menu function that you do with your iPhone 4. Um, you can go from your current location or you can change that. Um, and an end location being an address, um, a points of interest, um, a variety of different things that you can do with the Google search but again being just like what you have experienced with your iPhone. Uh, and then very cool, um, one of the world's first to do this is the ability to have the different map views just like you do with uh, your Google Maps on your iPhone device. Um, so you can have your traditional map, satellite, the hybrid view which overlays the satellite and the traditional map view, um, or the list view of uh, you know, the, the map locations. So here, I clicked on the hybrid, so now you can see again, we've got both the satellite imagery as well as the traditional map. So now we'll go back um, by just simply clicking the back button, uh, and we'll take a look at the next app, um, which is our contact list. This is actually the contact list directly out of the iPhone 4. So you can see you have all contacts, you can even do groups, uh, and this data is, again, pulled directly off of the iPhone. So if you've created several different groups, you can simply and quickly go directly into that group or you can click all contacts uh, and by searching by using your same kind of touch and, and swipe um, that you have with your iPhone you can simply and quickly go directly into a contact. So you can see once you've opened the contact any information that you've stored into your contacts app on your iPhone will be um, there. So if you've uh, put a picture, um, a description of the company, mobile phone, address, etc. To call them, you would simply click on the phone number, um, which would again open the Bluetooth phone application of the Pioneer app radio uh, and call them directly using your iPhone. Uh, you also have the ability to route 
using Google Maps um, to a specific address if, again, you've stored that address information in the contact. So by clicking the address, we go back to the app that we were just in, which again was Google Maps. Uh, it drops a pin at that specific address and begins telling you directions from your current location how to get to that uh, contact's location. The next app is the calendar, which allows you to view um, by day uh, as well as by month the calendar information that you've stored into your phone. So you can go to June uh, and you can see you can simply swipe um, for days. You see three at a time. Uh, if you have any information stored, any calendar information, any appointments, anything, you can click on a specific day and it'll actually enter in that list. Now we'll go back and the last thing that we'll take a look at is photos. This gives you the ability to view all of the different uh, albums and photos that you've stored on your iPhone. Uh, you can see it opens on albums. We've only got one album, the camera roll, the pictures that we've taken with our iPhone here. Um, but by simply clicking on it, you can see you get the same kind of interface that, again, you're used to with your iPhone. You can view still images as well as videos, again, while the vehicle is parked. Um, but it gives you the ability to also play a slideshow, which will start uh, just going through um, all of the different pictures that you have stored on your iPhone. You can even go into the settings of the picture menu uh, and change the settings, how long each slide plays for, um, whether or not your list repeats, or if you want to shuffle the slideshow settings. So the last icon on the first page is our recommended apps tab. So we'll click on that and kind of show you what that's all about. This is actually one of the most important areas of the Pioneer App Radio. This is where you'll see all of the recommended apps these are apps that have integrated the Pioneer App Radio API. Uh, so these apps are specifically formatted and designed to work with the Pioneer App Radio. Um, you'll see we have a couple of different indications. Of course, there's a listing of the app, um, as well as an indicator of whether or not that app is installed or not. Now with the four first partner apps being Inrix, MotionX GPS Drive, RDO, and Pandora, we've obviously got all of those already installed on our iPhone. If we had not already installed one of these, or in the future, as more apps become available, um, they will simply become another icon on the screen. It'll list the name of the app, the icon, the category, um, and it'll say not installed. Um, by simply clicking on the not installed, that will actually take you off of the Pioneer App Radio, open the iTunes App Store with a direct link to that app on your iPhone, where you can read a more thorough description, see if there's any costs associated, and make the choice of whether you want to download it or not. Once you've downloaded and installed that app on your Apple iPhone, it will become available in the app radio. So now we're back to our app home screen. And you can see down here in the corner, we've actually got um, a couple of different ways to view it. We've got the small icons, which are what we have now, or even large icons. And just like on the iPhone 4, you have that same fluid motion um, swiping of being able to change screens. So now we'll go back to our small icons. We'll go to the second page. This is where we've currently got all of our initial partner apps listed. Uh, again, Pandora, RDO, MotionX, GPS Drive, and Inrix Traffic. And again, the real power of Pioneer's App Radio is our ability to grow this app library. So as more apps become available, while currently we only have two pages listed, um, we have the potential to add multiple pages, just like what you have on your iPhone 4. Um, there's a couple of different ways that you can access these apps. The first, of course, is on this screen, you can simply click on an app, and that will actually open the app on your iPhone. So you can see it makes the connection. Uh, it opens whatever your last station was that you were listening to on your iPhone's app. Uh, and it'll begin playing the music, uh, pulling the album art, etc. Now the other way that you can launch an app is actually through the shortcut key um, on your iPhone. Just like you would when you're using your iPhone, you can double click the home button and open this tray at the bottom where you can see what the currently open apps are. Um, so by doing so, you can quickly and easily switch back and forth between different apps and the interface on the Pioneer app radio. So again, we'll from our home screen, we can show launching a different app. So when you're on your App Radio app, 
This is the screen that you'll see on your iPhone 4. Um, if we go to a specific app and we click on it, uh, you can see it will automatically launch the app on the iPhone and correspondingly show the app on the app radio screen. So now let's cover one of the, the kind of tips and shortcuts that we talked about earlier. Since the iPhone 4 has the ability to do multitasking, which means that it can have multiple apps running in the background, one of the quickest ways to switch between apps, for instance, we're now on Motion X GPS, uh, back to a different app, uh, is actually to double click that home screen on the phone itself. You'll open up the currently open apps, uh, and you can quickly and easily just simply click on the app icon, um, which will launch you back on the app radio as well as on the phone into that specific app. One of the cool integrations that we have with our different music apps and our navigation and traffic apps is that both of our navigation and traffic apps in Rix and Motion X GPS will actually play the other music app in the background. So you can listen to the tuner, you can listen to your iPod, or you can listen to Pandora or RDO even while you're using the navigation or the traffic app. So obviously through some of these tips and tricks and the, the demonstration we've given you, um, you'll see that, that you are going to want to have the iPhone um, within reach. You're going to want to have that installed in such a way that you can easily plug in your iPhone when you get in the car. So we've given you a brief tour as well as some tips and tricks, but don't forget that the real power of Pioneer's App Radio is the growing library of apps as well as the flexibility of the App Radio platform that allows us to evolve the interface between the iPhone 4 and the App Radio. For up-to-date information about Pioneer's App Radio, as well as compatible apps, visit pioneerelectronics.com forward slash app radio.